The gradient ramp effect is under the generate category and we'll need something to apply it to, so I'll just make a solid the size of my comp and drag out the gradient ramp effect. This just generates a gradient ramp with a start and end point, which you can adjust right up here in the effect controls or by just clicking and dragging these two anchor points to affect that start and end of the ramp. We have the ability to change the colors to anything we want. So there's the start color and the end color. And I can easily swap the colors just by clicking on the swap colors button. But we also have the ability to change the ramp shape from linear to radial. So the start of the ramp will be the center point of that radial gradient and the end point will be the outside radius of that gradient. If I swap the colors, we get a vignetting effect. I also have these controls down here to scatter the ramp, which is hard to see unless I really crank it up and zoom in. This is generating a noise pattern within that gradient, which is really helpful for eliminating banding that comes from video compression and gradients. It's just a problem that you have to deal with, but the gradient ramp allows you to add in that noise directly in the effect, no need to add any others. Finally, we can blend this effect with the original layer. You can think of this like an opacity value for the effect. And that's all there is to gradient ramp. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this tutorial, then check out the other ones here on my YouTube channel. And if you like my teaching style, then definitely check out my longer form content on Skillshare and School of Motion. And if you want to support more tutorials like this one, check out my Patreon. You can find links for all that stuff in the description of this video.